Yeah, just think about it. 30% of the nation's freight travels on the railroad. We're talking everything from crops to oil. And we're going to take a look at the local impact in just a few minutes. Now, the concern here, it could cause supply chain issues at a really bad time, driving up the cost of things like food and gas. President Biden is now involved in the talks, trying to avoid a strike as early as Friday. Again, CBS 13 Shante Passmore will have more on the local impact coming up in just about 10 minutes. Already, government figures show groceries are up more than 13% on average, electricity spiking nearly 16%, and rent up nearly 7% over the past year. But just how does the government come up with these numbers? We're getting answers. Casey Wenzel is a government price checker. I'm looking for a 7.5 ounce uh, can of mackerel. One of 475 economic assistants with the Bureau of Labor Statistics who fan out across the country every month checking actual prices. Now I'm going to move on to the next item. Right down to the penny, factoring into the consumer price index, the monthly inflation rate used in calculations for everything from Social Security payments to salaries. Maureen McDevitt Green is a regional manager of labor statistics. I expect most people think that there's some computer someplace that's just like whirling around and spitting out a number, but this is very real. They track prices for tens of thousands of goods and services, everything from canned mackerel to cars to rents to repair work and tuition and daycare. Wenzel has been doing this work for 16 years. A day on the job means making calls to a gas station and stopping by a bike shop. To keep the index honest, the products and the stores are all kept confidential. McDonald's is closing its UK restaurants during the Queen's funeral. The company tweeted it's to allow everybody at McDonald's to pay their respects to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. If you have a consumer problem you can't solve, maybe I can. Go to CBS13.com slash call Curtis and fill out our form.